Uh, he's looking to keep that seat for another six years. Got his hands full over in Texas, but also a very a big student of what's happening internationally. Senator, what is your take? I'm sure you weren't up at three in the morning, but what is your take on what has taken place so far? Well, it's a big deal, and the president is to be commended for for bringing these three Americans home. That 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 is a major victory, and and it's really the results of of American strength. You know, we saw for eight years under Barack Obama a, a foreign policy that was really a policy of weakness and appeasement. Remember how Obama put it, leading from behind. And and the problem is weakness and appeasement doesn't work, especially with dictators like Kim Jong Un. President Trump has come in with a strong American foreign policy, getting back to peace through strength. And I think we're seeing the results of it with three Americans coming home. You know what's interesting, Senator? I uh, was clicking around yesterday with the big news that they were coming back to the United States, and a majority of the news coverage on the other channels was about Stormy Daniels. What the heck's up with that? Uh, most of the media, they're just out of their mind. They have what I call Trump derangement syndrome, where all they can do is attack the president all day long on the scandal of the day. I got to tell you, I think most Texans are really tired of it. When I go home, nobody asks about the latest scandal of the day and whatever the, the, the talking heads are lighting their hair on fire about. <laughs> People are excited about tax cuts, about. Yep. Regulations being lifted about jobs growing. Uh, I'll tell you what people are excited about, for example, is yesterday at the White House, I was there. The president made a decision that saved thousands of jobs. He stepped in and solved the broken RIN system, which, which is a, 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 a RIN is something the EPA invented. Uh, to enforce the ethanol mandate. But what, what happened was RIN skyrocketed. And they were threatening the jobs of thousands upon thousands of blue collar union members at refineries, refineries in Texas, mm -hmm. refineries in Pennsylvania. I, I've been for six months working with the president, working with other senators. And yesterday, the president made a terrific decision. He stepped in and said, that we're going to allow RINs to be created when ethanol is exported. What that means is we're going to export a lot more Great. ethanol. That's going to help corn farmers. That, that's going to, we're going to sell more ethanol. And he also is going to allow E15 to be sold year round. It's a big win for corn farmers. But critically, the president, because of his bold leadership, is saving the jobs of thousands, even tens of thousands a blue collar union members refinery workers exactly the people who elected Donald Trump instead of Hillary Clinton it was exactly the right decision all right so senator jobs check ethanol mandate check prisoners home check the summit has now been set and the iran deal what are what are your thoughts about that well, once again, I think the president did exactly the right thing to pull out of the Iran deal. For the last year and a half, I've been talking with the president, urging him to take this course. And I think the president has steadily been on this path. Um, the Iran deal that President Obama negotiated was catastrophic. It, it, it did enormous damage to America because it allowed billions of dollars to go directly to the world's leading state sponsor of terrorism. And, and even worse than that, uh, it, it did so in a way that, that ensured Iran would get nuclear weapons. You know, when the Ayatollah Khamenei pledges death to America and death to Israel, I, I believe him. He well, is a religious radical zealot, and canceling the deal is exactly the right thing. What we need to do and what we're going forward doing is reimposing crushing sanctions, urging our allies right. to do the same, and making sure that Iran never, well, never, never gets a nuclear but weapon. But, Senator, you know how they feel. Uh, they've made it clear they came and lobbied the foreign minister of England, and we know uh, Macron spent two days here and Merkel spent a day, all to keep us in. In fact, she mm -hmm. let, released this statement. It is no longer such that the United States simply protects us, but Europe must take its destiny in its own hands. That's the task of the future. Your reaction? Oh, listen, we're going to see some posturing in European capitals. And the reason is there's some big European companies that want to do business with Iran. They, they make money. And, and that's got a lot of the European countries defending this deal. I'll tell you, when the deal was being negotiated, I had European ambassadors in my office asking for my help, saying the Obama administration is pressuring us. We think this is a foolish deal. Will you help us press back? So, look, no one should be surprised that their companies are interested in money. But you know what? We've got a yeah. bigger responsibility. The Ayatollah right. with a nuclear weapon 
if he ever acquires a nuclear weapon, I think the odds are unacceptably high he would detonate that weapon in the skies of Tel yeah. Aviv or New York or Los Angeles. If, if Germany we was, can't roll the dice. If Germany was really worried about their own destiny, maybe they wouldn't accept a pipeline from Russia that keeps them on the Russian <laughs> natural gas uh, crack pipe forever when we could supply it. Senator Cruz, let me ask you about this. Uh, uh, the uh, White House is now sending to Congress a $15 billion rescission package. Uh, a couple of, what, it's been over a month ago, uh, you guys in Congress passed that gigantic spendapalooza yeah. of $1.3 billion, a trillion dollars. An unbelievably big number. I know you got a lot of funding for the military, but still way too much money. Yes. Now, how are you trying to claw it back? Well, well, listen, the omnibus was a serious mistake. I voted against that $1.3 billion spending package. I trillion. wish we hadn't passed. Trillion. Now you, now you, get, now you yeah, get me doing it. I did it, it too. Um, but, but it was a serious mistake, and I think the president's right to send a rescission package. The biggest advantage of rescission is the Democrats can't filibuster it. it. It is a procedural vehicle that only takes 50 votes. So if Republicans just stand together, we can claw back some of that right. spending. And, and one of the things I've been urging Republicans in the Senate, we've got a narrow 51 vote majority. The Democrats are filibustering everything. We need to be using all of the procedural tools we have to pass things with 51 votes to get victory after victory after victory for the American people. And, right. and reining in wasteful spending is certainly something we yeah. ought to be doing. And, and so I applaud the White House for doing that. Right. Sarah Jessica Parker is going to go for your opponent in your Senate race. Can you still win? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, you know, she, she joins, uh, you know, Rosie O'Donnell and Al Franken and Chelsea Handler. And, and it, I got to say, if this election were in Hollywood, I, I would have lost our, already. But, but, <laughs> but fortunately, Hollywood celebrities don't tend to vote a whole lot in Texas elections. And, and, and listen, I've got an opponent who's running hard left. He's running on gun control. He's running on open borders. Uh, he's running on impeaching the president. He's the, he's the first Democratic Senate candidate in the country to pledge he would impeach Donald Trump. But I got to tell you, he is raising more money than any Democrat in the entire country. He raised $7 million last quarter. And so what we're seeing as conservatives in Texas and across the country, they're going to TedCruz.org, TedCruz.org, and, and we're standing together. We're going to win because there are more conservatives than there are liberals in Texas, but it's going to take conservatives right. showing up in November to defend our freedom. All right, SenatorTedCruz.org. Thank you very much for joining us live. Thanks, Senator. Great to see you.